Mortal Kombat has been around for nearly 29 years at this point, and it's created some unforgettable characters like Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Sonya Blade, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, the list just goes on and on. Wait, you know, actually, that list does eventually stop, and if you keep going down the list of characters, you'll eventually hit these guys and girls. These are the 10 worst characters in Mortal Kombat. Moloch looks like a monster plucked from the background of a dark fantasy story, given a giant steel ball to hold on to, and told that he was now one of the big bosses of Mortal Kombat. His design is extremely plain and he has very little in the way of an interesting story beyond being a companion of another Mortal Kombat character. Mortal Kombat's hidden characters are usually great, then there's meat who, like his backstory suggests, is something of a mistake. He's an experiment created by Shang Tsung that managed to escape before he was actually completed, leaving him a walking, talking pile of meat, with a gross eye hanging out. But Rai Cho feels like a mess of ideas all sloppily thrown together to create a character of contradictions. He's a drunken martial arts master meant to be taken seriously as a skilled fighter, but... His most iconic move involves puking on the ground and making his opponent slip. He's supposed to be Liu Kang and Kung Lao's martial arts teacher, but while those two fight with fireballs, blade hats, and flying kicks, Bo Raicho fights with farts and belly flops. Ah, Taven. There's nothing exceptionally bad about Taven. He's just painfully boring. Everything from his dialogue. No, this is all too strange. Where is my father? I wish to speak with him. To his moveset and overall character design is as plain as can be. Taven does have potential to be a great character. His backstory as the son of the Adanian protector god could definitely be explored more thoroughly, but he needs a dramatic overhaul on his personality and overall character design. Yes, there are actually two chameleons in Mortal Kombat, and they're both equally weak. The C version of Chameleon was actually planned to be a character in Mortal Kombat 3, but at some point he was removed from the roster and made accessible only through the use of a Game Shark or Game Genie cheat device. Both were hidden characters in Mortal Kombat Trilogy, with the K version of Chameleon appearing in the N64 version and the C version of Chameleon being in every other version. Unlike all the other ninja palette swaps that eventually gained their own identity and playstyle, both chameleons used the moves and abilities of other ninjas, making them feel more like gimmicks than anything else. If you just look at mocap, yeah, he's probably the immediate choice to top a list of the worst Mortal Kombat characters. However, he isn't as bad as some of the others on this list, mainly because he's a tribute to Raiden's original actor, Carlos Pesena. Which, you know, that's kind of interesting. That being said, he's still just a dude in a motion capture suit with balls on his body. Cobra feels like a fish out of water among the Mortal Kombat roster, likely because he looks like a Street Fighter character mixed with Johnny Lawrence from The Karate Kid. He doesn't mesh at all with the rest of the roster, and while this could also be said of Stryker, at least Stryker has that everyman appeal, whereas Cobra is an actual trained martial artist who feels like he's out of his league. Jarek is a poor man's Kano, simple as that. And so, in his place, Midway copied and pasted Kano's entire moveset onto a guy who was decidedly less cool than Kano. It wouldn't have been that bad if Jarek had some characteristics of his own that would let him stand out, but unfortunately, his most memorable moment in the series was when he was dropped off a cliff by Jax in one of the endings of Mortal Kombat 4. <laughs> Originally designed as the anti-Jax, the Mongolian warrior Su Hao is one of the most universally disliked Mortal Kombat characters of all time. Even the developers at NetherRealm dislike him. John Vogel, a game designer at NetherRealm, stated in a marketing video for Mortal Kombat Armageddon that Su Hao was being brought back in Armageddon, quote unquote, much to his dismay. It's easy to see why. His moveset was uninspired, his one unique fatality was just a chest laser that could have been easily used for Kano, his backstory was boring, and he quite simply did not have the look of a Mortal Kombat character. And that's it! Those are our picks for the worst characters in all of Mortal Kombat's history. And you know what? I I'm tired of hearing about them already, so let me know who your favorite characters in Mortal Kombat are in the comments below. For more Mortal Kombat, make sure to check out our review for Mortal Kombat 11 
and for everything else, keep it here on IGN.